In today's video, we are going to make an orange empress. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday. I'm Mark, and this is the Average Me Channel. In today's video, I'm going to make a gin cocktail that I call the Orange Empress. So let's start by talking about the name. You'll see I do have orange here, at least half of an orange, and this is not going to be an ingredient in the cocktail. This is going to serve as a garnish. And the reason that I call it the Orange Empress, number one, it's going to use Empress 1908 gin. And the Empress 1908 has a really interesting story. This is a blue gin. It's kind of easy to identify and pick up when you go to the liquor store. But the Empress 1908 is actually named for a landmark hotel in Victoria, Canada. And I've been to the hotel. I'm going to link that video here. It's a fabulous place. And if you were to look at it, it would look like it's much older than 1908. That's still, what, 115, 14 years uh, old now. But it really looks old world Canada, if you can say such a thing. And 1908 is when it was built. So that's what this particular gin is named for. And I really like uh, this cocktail. I like this gin because I love the history. And I like the fact that I've been there. The next thing we're going to use is elderflower liqueur. It doesn't really matter the brand. I'm using Gelad. And this is going to give it uh, quite a unique taste, a unique flavor. Then we're going to use triple sec. Now triple sec is an orange based liqueur. So this is where the orange name comes from, this and the garnish. And finally, we're going to use a little bit of simple syrup. Whenever I use simple syrup, I always tell you how to make it real simple. One part water, one part sugar, uh, boil it, and cool it down and that's our simple syrup now i've got to tell you a little bit about this video this is the second time i did this video i did it a couple of days ago and i was cleaning off old files out of my computer and you guessed it i had it all edited ready to load up and i must have deleted it i couldn't find the original footage i couldn't find the edited version so I have to do the whole thing over again. And it's, you know, such a hardship. It is so tragic when YouTubers lose their video. In my case, it wait a second, that's not so tragic. I get to make another cocktail that I really enjoyed. What a great happenstance. Okay, so let's get things started. I've got my shaker. Oh my goodness, I just realized I do not have the strainer lid to my shaker. I'll be right back. But there it is. You know, I love when I forget things because I get to do my little I dream of genie magic trick. So I'm using the strainer shaker. Now, can you use the strainer? You know, that spring strainer device that you can put over and strain? Absolutely. This does the same thing. The real purpose of one of those spring covered, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a strainer with the spring on it. And I do have one, but the real purpose of it is so you don't have to have multiple items. So you don't have to have all of this and several shaker uh, bodies, but I, I don't mind because I don't make that many cocktails. So when I'm going to strain something, I usually will just use this strainer. So let's get started. Our first ingredient is going to be the Empress 1908, and we're going to use quite a bit of it. We're going to be using two and a half ounces. By the way, this one, I wrote it down because um, the, sometimes if the ratio of the ingredients are similar, it's easy to remember, but you know, we're getting on in years, and sometimes we don't always remember and I hate to make a mistake with something as important as a cocktail. So there's our two ounces. And there's our half an ounce. I really don't know what makes this blue, 
but I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's food coloring because I don't think there's anything natural in gin that would give it the blue color. Next, we're going to use, how much of this do I use? One half ounce. Half ounce of the elderflower liqueur. And if you've never had a drink, never mixed a cocktail with the elderflower liqueur, it does have a unique taste. And um, yeah, it does have a pleasant aroma too. It really does smell like, um, oh, I don't know, uh, almost like lilacs. And triple sec. How much triple sec are we using? We're using a half ounce of triple sec as well. Boy, now that I look at this, it's not complicated at all. It's two and a half of this and everything else just gets a half ounce. But at least I know I won't make a mistake. One half ounce of simple syrup. And finally, one half ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now you saw in a recent video when I did my mocktails, I did use a prepackaged lemon juice. However, real fresh lemon juice is always superior. It's going to give you a better flavor. So we're going to doesn't take much to get a half an ounce. I usually find I can usually get about two ounces of juice out of a single fresh lemon. So there's my half. And what I'm gonna do before I mix this is I'm gonna prepare my garnish. Uh, the one I did previous that you didn't see, I actually cut a wedge and I floated it in the cocktail and that looked really nice. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to cut a little bit of peel off of this, which is harder than you think since I already half this orange. But that's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to put a little squeeze of that orange in there. Not much. I don't want to taint it. I taint what I want to do. And let's shake the daylights out of this. I'm gonna push everything off to the side right now. Because I know I'm going to be taking a picture of this in a minute. And I wanna have my bar cleared. So here we go. You know I usually shake for 30 to 45 seconds, but I cut it down because I don't think it makes very engaging um, video content. Oh man. It's so cold. So, here we go. Now you are going to see a beautiful looking cocktail here. Look at that lavender color. Yeah. And we do want to put this in a coupe glass. It's kind of a, a very classic uh, look to it. Now, there's a lot of things you can do with the orange. Sometimes bartenders will just squeeze it in half. What I like to do is really roll that up tight and try to get a nice curl out of that peel. And then you have that nice curl and it hangs over the edge. Now that is an impressive looking cocktail. I don't know how well the color is coming through, but it's a, a very pretty brilliant lavender color to this cocktail and it has a really nice contrast with that orange peel oh and the aroma i'm getting the elderflower i'm getting uh, quite a bit of that orange peel because when you twist it you know it does bring a lot of that um, that smell and and all you're getting is the outside peel you're kind of surprising that you're getting actually that much aroma well i'm going to pause for just a minute and I'm gonna get a picture, and then we'll be right back to give it the most important part, the taste test. And we're back. I can't wait to taste this. I am going to tell you, 
The last time I made this, I took an orange wedge and I put it in the cocktail. Uh, that looked really good, but I will tell you, I didn't get nearly the essence and the aroma of the orange as I did when I garnished it with the peel. So depending on what I taste right now, I think I'm going to encourage you to go that direction. Not only that, but that curled orange looks so elegant. That is delicious. Uh, you wouldn't uh, believe the flavor we have here. I would think two and a half ounces of gin. This would almost taste medicine-y, just the opposite. It has a beautiful uh, aroma, essence. It's got um, a sweetness to it. We have the triple sec. We have our simple syrup. It is really nice. Um, getting the gin, absolutely. We're also getting that elderflower. I don't even know how to describe that. You just have to try it for yourself. But it, it adds um, just a hard to describe flavor. Flower. It, it, I don't know, that, that probably doesn't uh, sound appetizing to say it tastes like a flower, but um, it does. It's got that sweet, pleasant taste to it. Mm. That is a good cocktail. And I'm glad that I have a little more left. Because I can fill that once more to the brim. Start all over again. Mm. Yep, you gotta give this one a try. This is, uh, it's got everything that you want. I would actually serve this as an after dinner cocktail because it does have the sweetness. Um, it has the essence of the elderflower and uh, the orange. It really does have, uh, it says to me, after dinner. And the appearance is just unique. Orange and lavender, um, artistically, you know, those colors complement each other. Visually, it's a beautiful cocktail. People are gonna be oppressed when you serve this one. Mm. I think you should give this one a try. As always, please like and share the video. I hope I see you back here next week. Who knows what I have in store for you? I don't always plan these out, but if this is indicative of what we see next week, it's gonna be a really good episode. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'm Mark, and this is The Average Me Channel.